Alrighty, friends, we are here. We are back. I am so excited for even more Percy Jackson. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace and I too like to think longingly about the love of my life while sitting in the rain listening to Olivia Rodrigo. We are back. We're here. We're watching more Percy Jackson. I'm so excited. I at the time that I'm filming this, I am uh, just finishing up episode one. I can't wait. Everything's gonna start now. I think we're gonna end with Percy being claimed um, in this episode because uh, this is our this is our like first camp episode, and I know we're getting capture the flag. So I think we're gonna end with Percy being claimed. So. I'm really excited. I don't have a ton to say this time because I just finished watching episode one. I'm very excited to see Leah as Annabeth. I'm very excited to meet all of our other campers, Clarice and Luke and maybe a few others. We are going to get right into it and we are going to watch Percy Jackson and the Olympians season one episode two called I Become Supreme Lord of the Bathroom. <laughs> It's our Annabeth. Hi. You drool when you sleep. She said the thing. Hmm. It really happened. It's a big deal to kill a monster like that. So I wanted everyone to know. Did you see it? Did you see what happened to my mom? I did. I'm sorry. Oh. Baby boy. Job was to get me here alive. Your job was done. Oh, Percy. Where are you going? It was so important I get here because my father's a god. So I'm gonna go find him. Easier said than done. Your dad's not gonna be here, babe. Oh my god. The big house looks gorgeous. <gasps> Look at the lake. Oh, it's so pretty. There he is. Peter Johnson in the house. <laughs> in the big house. Excuse me? I'm Percy Jackson. Uh, I'm new here. Peter Johnson is here. He's a perfect Dionysus. I guess I'm looking for the office or whoever's in charge. Wait, so... wait, 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 Percy. Um, Mr. D. Camp director, Mr. D, this is uh, Percy Jackson. Yeah, Grover. I heard him the first time. <laughs> but did you? Okay. But did you? The D is for Dionysus. That's Dionysus. What do you mean, Dionysus? Like, the god Dionysus? Yes. Excuse me, your highness. <laughs> I think my dad may be around here somewhere. I don't know how to ask him. I don't, I don't even know his name. But I think I should see him. It's a reasonable request, but it's just not gonna happen, unfortunately. Son. <laughs> Dad? Yes, Peter. It's exactly. Shut up. Shut up, Mr. D. In the galley, there is a bottle of 1985 <laughs> Chateau Oprah. Here you go, fetch that for me. <laughs> I love him. Look at Kyren, all fancy. His little, little sweater, little, little blazer. Oh, Percy, this must be a lot for you to process. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. I mean, you're a horse. <laughs> My father won't talk to me. Mr. D is not your father. <laughs> I could be. Yes, I Robin. could be. Why must you ruin everything? <laughs> Demigods are able to do things for gods that gods are forbidden to do for themselves. Mr. D was taking advantage of that. <laughs> I lost your pen sword thingy. Hopefully that wasn't your only one. Check your pocket. <laughs> Check your pocket, babe. It's there. Unless you surrender it, it will always find its way back to you. 
The cabins. Oh, I'm so excited to see them. Each cabin is home. Oh, they're so the pretty. That God has claimed. Great. Which one am I? You haven't been claimed, Percy. Well, when do I get claimed? Maybe never. This is a camp full of people with mommy and daddy issues. Hermes, God of Travelers. Hermes. This cabin is home to both his own children and the unclaimed. Luke? Is that Luke back there? I know you feel powerless, but you're not. All will reveal itself in time. The Hermes cabin looks fun. Are we going to meet the Stoll brothers? Candy. There he is! Luke with the scar on his face! I heard what happened to you on the hill. I just. I wanted to say I'm really sorry. I know what you're going through. Believe me. I'm Luke. I thought the scar would be more pronounced. I kind of have to look for it in the beginning. It's Sally Jackson. <gasps> I think I know what really happened to her. I've never seen a Minotaur crush a human to death, but I just, I assume that they'd get really squishy <laughs> or something, or like, like an old banana. <laughs> he evaporated like a monster would. When a mortal is really close to death, Hades himself can actually reach out and- Yes, we know. So you know that that's what happened? But you haven't told Percy anything yet. No, no one. Is gonna tell him anything. Because mm, they know. They know what's gonna happen. Truth can be very dangerous if it isn't handled carefully. I don't wanna lie to him anymore. Because they're besties. Is this another dream? These dreamscapes are so cool. I left you here, left you with nothing. I know how you feel. Also, I'm just getting now what this is, too. You want justice. We all have them, you know. Intense, recurring nightmares. That's normal here. For the first time in your life, you're just like everyone else. So are you also... Unclaimed? No. Hermes is my father. My dad is Lin-Manuel Miranda. <laughs> have always fought for glory. They used to call it Kleos. It's like this stuff that attaches itself to your name, makes it bigger, scarier, and more important. And they think twice about messing with you. Hey. So this is the kid who killed the Minotaur. Is that right? Hi, Clarice. So if I get glory, Clarice won't mess with me either? Exactly. You should already have some. You killed the Minotaur. Our turn. My turn for what? Burnt offerings. The gods like the smell, so it gets their attention before you say a prayer. They like the smell of burnt mac and cheese? They like the smell of begging. <laughs> you burn what you'll miss the most. And they know you really mean what you're about to say, so they listen. Yeah, he's doing the gum. He's doing the blue candy. Hi, Mom. This is so sweet. I think... I've made some friends here. Oh, Like, real friends. <gasps> I think they might really like me. Stop! He isn't here. My father, he just... didn't show. Ignoring me is one thing, but he doesn't get to ignore you. Yeah! Sally Jackson's the best! I'm gonna make him see me. Percy's coming off very angry right now, which like I get. Hey guys, can't sleep, huh? Every new kid shows up here and they think they're special. Do you think you're special? Actually, no. Tell me you made it all up about the Minotaur and I'll let you go. I didn't make anything up. 
Some kids gotta learn the hard way. Yeah, Clarice, some kids do have to learn the hard way. <laughs> Cue the hard way? Bravo. Bravo. Wouldn't want to be on bathroom duty tomorrow. I can explain. No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> you were there the night in the infirmary. Yes. I'm Annabeth. Are you stalking me, Annabeth? Yes. <laughs> yes. Why? Well, I've been waiting to see if something like this would happen. So I'd know if you can help me. Help you do what? Win capture the flag. It's capture the flag time! Annabeth sees the world differently. I was six steps ahead of everyone else. We should cut her a break. Whose side are you on anyway? Oh, hers. Always. She's my little sister. <laughs> Annabeth would not like hearing Luke say, she's my little sister. <laughs> Yikes. Before camp, I was on the road. Me and a forbidden kid I met along the way. Her name is Thalia. Hold on, hold on. They did not just call her Thalia. Please tell me that other people call her Talia. Because I have always called her Talia. I'm having a moment. <laughs> So I did Google it today because, look, that pronunciation was gonna keep bothering me if I didn't know whether or not it was correct. I mean, why wouldn't it be correct in the, the show, right? Like, why wouldn't it be correct? But they said Talia in the movies. But I guess that means, I, I guess that's my fault because I shouldn't have taken anything from those movies as the truth. <laughs> But, yeah, apparently in Greek mythology, and according to, like, people who speak Greek, uh, it is Thalia. Thalia. I feel like I don't know how to read. I feel like, I feel like I've, been, I've been lying to myself. Having a brain that works is something I'll never experience, I don't think, so... <laughs> Okay, go back to go back to me before watching it. It's, have fun. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. All right, play. In Hades, agreed their children were becoming too powerful, so they made a pact not to father anymore. And it held for a long time until Zeus broke that pact. Chiron's been promising her for years. One day, a demigod would arrive who was fated to go on a quest that even Chiron couldn't prevent. And when that happened, she could join it. She's still watching you. Can you ask her to knock it off? Yeah, sure. It won't work. Company! Move out! Now you, sunshine. You're with me. <laughs> now you, sunshine. Oh my god, I can't wait for the first seaweed brain. I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. I, I get it. Okay, you you're better at this than me. But I need this to go well today. So. You're gonna expect me to know how to do something I don't know how to do. And I end up falling flat on my face. Like, I can't really have that right now. You still don't get where you fit into all this, do you? No! Boy knows nothing! <laughs> get from my mouth. Don't worry. You'll do great. Do great? Do what? Great. <laughs> what do you mean I'll do great? I love it. We got our first glimpse of the hat. I'm so excited. Percy, wake up. Get a bunch of people who want to kill you because you doused toilet water on them in the bathroom. Flag's that way. It's not here. We know. Yeah, Glory's fine. Revenge is more fun. <laughs> She's such a good Clarice. She's got the perfect vibe. No maiming. It's like the one rule. 
That's so good! It's so cool! Ow! Oh! Get up, Percy! He lost his shield. Oh no. Oh! Yeah, I would not want to be on the tail end of that spear. This is such a good sequence though. I love it. Oh, sick. I'm so invested. It broke, it broke. That's so sick. Nice. Nice. Very good, blue team. Very good. Not bad, hero. Were you here the whole time? Yes. Yeah. You were here the whole time and you didn't help me? Yes. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so cool! I don't understand. Is it happening? Is it happening? Is it happening? That's so cool! Your dad's calling. Hello? Papa? Poseidon? You have been claimed by Poseidon. Earthshaker, Stormbringer, Percy Jackson, son of Poseidon. As a forbidden child of the sea god, you are singular amongst demigods. And your father's only hope to prevent the outbreak of war. Shut up! Poseidon Cabin looks sick! Zeus is looking for a thief, sees a forbidden child? Claimed by his jealous brother? It doesn't look good for you, kid. You must leave immediately. Leave? Leave for where? Zeus is king on Olympus. A quest, babe. There is a third brother who has always deeply resented them both. Hades. Yes. The boat is with Hades in the underworld. I know it sounds daunting. But you won't be alone. The quest is always undertaken by three. Great. Good luck finding those guys, because it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> Poseidon has ignored me my entire life. You are his son. I am Sally Jackson's son. Oh. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. You will accept this quest. I won't. Hey, everybody. You... Rover? Now is not the time. I'm sorry, sir, but I have news. Rover. Sally Jackson is alive. <gasps> it looked like she died, but it only looked that way. Grover. Your mother was stolen by Hades, which means she's with him now in the underworld. That's where they want you to go to, isn't it? If you can find her there, I think you can bring her back. This is different. When do we leave? <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> I have some thoughts. First of all, Jason Manzoukas, perfect Mr. D. I loved Stanley Tucci as Mr. D. Jason, perfect, perfect. Great Mr. D. I loved meeting all of our new characters. I do kind of wish that we spent more time with Annabeth this episode, though. I wish we got a little bit more time with Annabeth, uh, with like Percy and Annabeth together. 
I wish we got a little bit more of that. But I know what they're doing, like having him spend the time with Luke, being like, yes, we're making friends, we're you know, people actually might like me and like, and Grover like straight out telling Percy that his mom is still alive and like that being the thing that makes him accept the quest is different from the books, but I like it. I like it because it's like, it's, that's all that Percy really wants in the books anyways. He's like, I don't care about this quest. I just want to save my mom. So I, I get it, I like it. I am loving this show so much so far. It's like, it's moving quickly, but it's giving us all of the information that we need. It's giving us all of the information that is like important to the storyline later on so that when it's referenced later on, we'll know what they're talking about. So I like that. I like all of the action sequences, all of the like fight scenes have been so good so far. I am so excited for the ones that are going to come up later on in the season. I'm so excited for the rest of the show. I really, I'm loving it so much. I, my heart is so happy. I can't wait to watch more. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I had a fun time. I hope you guys had a fun time watching season one, episode two of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I can't wait for more of the show to come out. I can't wait to watch more. So if you wanna stick around and join me watching this show, freaking out, fangirling, doing all of the fun stuff, subscribe, stick around, and I will link the reaction to episode one if you didn't see that. I'll link it in the description below as well as all of my social medias and other videos and fun stuff if you wanna hang out with me outside of here. So. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are. And I will see you all very soon with more Percy Jackson. Bye.